Hi there, I'm Dr. Scanlon, and this video is going to be talking about Schoology messages. Everybody at Holy Ghost Prep gets an official Holy Ghost Prep email address, which they can use to contact teachers, to contact anybody that works at the school, work with their classmates, use Google account stuff, all of those things. But sometimes those email accounts get busy. Um, teachers, for instance, will be getting lots of messages throughout the day from all different people, whether it's their colleagues or other organizations that they're affiliated with. And sometimes messages can get flooded, your email can get flooded with lots of messages. And if you're worried about your message to a teacher or to anybody else at the school getting lost, one of the best solutions that I can recommend is using Schoology's messages feature, which is something that you all have access to as a result of having an account on Schoology. Uh, it's very easy to use uh, and it's very easy to find. When you look at the Schoology website, uh, off in the top right hand corner, you'll see the typical email symbol there of a, a letter. Um, and you can see that from anywhere in Schoology. So no matter what page you're looking at, you'll generally be able to click on that button. Another nice thing about this is that it also includes a small little notification symbol in the top right to let you know if you have new messages that you haven't read and that you should be looking at. When we click on it, you can see a sort of snapshot of many of the messages, the last couple of messages that you've received, as well as uh, Schoology also indicates which ones have been read, this one here at the top, and then these ones with the dot next to them have not been read. Um, so it's easy to tell whether you're keeping up with things. You can also do this by clicking on View All. And if you click on View All, you'll be able to see all of your mail um, uh, all the way from the very first piece of, of Schoology mail that you get. Um, and again, it all indicates which ones you've looked at and which ones you haven't. And it gives you the option to edit this a little bit. You can click on individual messages, for instance, and say, um, mark this one as red or mark it as new. You can do all these things, but uh, really it's just there to help you make sure that you've seen everything that you need to see. When uh, Also in this uh, portion of the uh, messages app, you can take a look at your sent messages. So if you're wondering whether or not something went through, you can take a look at this sent message. Sending a message in Schoology is really easy. Um, you're always going to get this little prompt here that says new message. Okay? You can get that here. You can get that when you click up on the messages icon right here. And you can also get this by clicking on uh, the profile picture of somebody on Schoology. So if I click on my profile picture right here, it takes me to my web page as a teacher. Uh, and then you can say message. And that'll allow you to send a message to me. When you're sending a message, it's a good idea to always make sure that you're following the proper message etiquette. So um, uh, making sure that you're writing in a professional, formal way, rather than writing in the way that you would use with your friends uh, over things like social media. Um, so you want to use proper grammar, you want to use proper punctuation, that kind of thing. Um, some teachers take this very seriously, uh, and some people in life take this very seriously, um, and other people will be less rigorous about it. But it's always good to start off by being very uh, uh, formal in the way that you write your messages. Um, and you can always loosen up afterwards once you get the sense of what's going on. But generally, always a good idea to write professionally, uh, since that's part of what we do as a Holy Ghost preparatory school, We're preparing you for the professional world and for college. Um, and so you want to write formally. Um, you can uh, start typing your message right away if you clicked on somebody's profile picture like this. Um, uh, then it'll automatically fill in who you want to send this to. Um, but let's say you didn't do that. Let's say you start from scratch. So we'll go up here and click this new message thing. Um, now we can say we want to send a message to me. Um, one of the useful tools is that Schoology will automatically fill in some suggestions as you type. So my name is John Scanlon. Uh, and if I type in John, I get a couple of different options here for people I can contact. Um, I can also type in just a last name. So if you don't know your teacher's first name, it's not a problem. Uh, and you can click there, and now you'll be able to put that uh, address there automatically. You can also have multiple people that you would contact listed here. Schoology does require you to um, uh, put a subject in your email, um, so you will have to type something there. But otherwise, you're good to start typing right away. Um, and again, we're going to try to keep things formal and professional as we're doing this. 
Um, so you should start with the proper salutation. You can say, dear Dr. Scanlon, um, or if you want to keep things really professional, you can just say, Dr. Scanlon, um, dear, you know, we're not close friends yet. Um, so you probably want to keep that um, just formal and professional there. So dear Dr. Scanlon. Um, and when you write, again, remember, you want to try to write in a way that is different from the way that you talk to your friends and colleagues. So you don't want to say like, hey, what's my test score? You know, and that be the end of your message. Um, you want to try to use full sentences with proper punctuation and proper grammar. So we'll go, Dr. Scanlon, could you please tell me my test score? And then you should sign off with your name. Um, so your name would go here. Also a good idea if you have a name that you'd prefer to be called, um, this is a good way to teach your teacher that. Um, um, because when you look at the Schoology profile, it'll say this message is from so-and-so, um, but it will use their full formal name. And generally you wanna let people know what you want to be called. Um, so this is a good place for you to write your name as you would like to be called. So if your name is Maxwell and you'd rather be called Max, this is where you can put that. Now you'll notice I have a spelling error here. Um, so you would wanna fix that. Um, so we're gonna say my test score. That was really bad, so the sentence uh, can't even suggest something properly. So we'll hit a score like that. Uh, and there we go. It looks like we have a proper good message. Now why don't we add the word thanks in there too. Thanks. Okay. The last thing I can show you is that before you send this, you have some other options. You can attach files to the message. You can uh, attach links, website links, to a message. Um, you can add resources, which uh, are special things in Schoology. Um, every student uh, uh, and every person who uses Schoology has a resources page where they can upload files, and then they can take those files from their resources page rather than uploading them directly from the computer. Uh, and you can also attach audio or video recordings. Um, this might be handy, for instance, say if you were trying to, uh, for a world language class, send a message in a particular language. Um, you could attach that audio recording um, uh, to the message if you wished. But now that we've got everything done, we can just hit send. Uh, and we can see that the message has been sent. And if we want to double check to make sure that it's been sent, uh, we can go to view all. And we can see that now in my sent folder, there's a new extra message here. So um, you can always double check to make sure that something you sent has gone through by taking a look at the sent mail option. So messages in Schoology are really easy. Um, they're pretty simple to use. Um, and they're a really uh, good way to make sure that you're contacting people without your message getting lost amidst all of their other email. Thanks for watching.